Welcome to another Digital Anarchy tutorial. I'm Jim Tierney, president of Digital Anarchy. And in this tutorial, we're going to talk about using ViewBox with footage of differing resolutions, uh, especially HD versus 4K. Uh, the default settings for ViewBox are designed for HD, which means they sometimes need tweaking for higher resolution footage like 4K or 8K, or if you've gone completely mad, 12K. Mainly, I want to focus on skin detail smoothing, as I think that plays a bigger role than most people think. And you can set it negative. Don't usually recommend this, but for slightly negative values, it can improve things. So let's talk about skin detail smoothing. And the first step that you want to do is, of course, click Analyze Frame, which is going to allow Beautybox to analyze the footage and create the skin tone mask. And otherwise, these are the default Beautybox settings right here. And by default, Skin Detail Smoothing is set to 15. And as you might expect from the name, this attempts to smooth out smaller features of the skin, pores, and other small textures. It provides sort of a second level of smoothing on top of the overall skin smoothing, which is uh, the first control here, of course. And you generally want Skin Detail Smoothing to be lower than smoothing amount. And in this case, I'm gonna set it really high in the hope that you'll be able to see what I'm doing despite the YouTube compression on this video. Uh, these changes are pretty subtle, so you might be better off looking at the accompanying blog post to see some still image examples or just try it out on your own 4K footage. And of course, the settings that I'm using here may not necessarily work for your footage. Every footage is a little bit different, so you're gonna have to tweak it uh, based on your footage, but you all probably already know that. Anyways, so if it's set too high relative to the smoothing amount, you can end up with the skin looking somewhat blurry or blotchy. And you can kind of see this here. Well, if we turn beauty box off and just get back to the original skin, um, and then we turn it back on, there's definitely too much smoothing being applied. But with normal settings like 15 or 20, the blotchiness does seem to be a little bit more of a problem with higher res footage than it does with HD, possibly because you've got more detail on the skin. So that's the first thing to do is to make sure that skin detail smoothing is lower than smoothing amount. If we take it down to 50, 15, I still feel the skin's a tiny bit blotchier than it would be if it was HD. And so we can use a trick to set skin detail smoothing negative. So in this case, I'm gonna set it slightly negative to about minus 10. This is basically gonna kind of apply a little bit of sharpening on top of the blur. And so that's gonna bring back a little bit of that skin texture. And especially in this example, the area around her nose gets a little bit soft. And so setting it to a slightly negative value kind of brings back some of that texture and makes for a little bit better look in my opinion. Your opinion might differ slightly. But if you're working with 4K or, or pretty much any footage uh, and the beauty box blur is giving you something that's not quite to your liking, just know that it is possible to set this to a negative value and bring some of that detail back. And I do want to emphasize that we are talking about slightly negative values, minus 10. You can also set this really, really negative and this is actually a trick that our free plugin Uglybox makes use of. If you set this to a very negative value, like say negative 400 is the max, you can see that this does not make her look better. And while this might be great for Halloween or something like that, as our Uglybox's filters often used for, it's usually not what you want. So setting this to something like minus 10, improving her look, versus what Uglybox does, which is make her look worse. Not usually what your clients are gonna be asking for. So anyways, so that's it for this tutorial. Just wanted to give you a heads up about skin detail smoothing and how that works and how you can use it. So thanks for joining me. And of course you can go to digitalanarchy.com and check out all of our plugins and tutorials and free plugins and all sorts of other stuff that we have on our site. If you have any questions, you can always email sales at digitalanarchy.com or, of course, just go to our website. So thanks for checking this out, and uh, we'll see you in the next tutorial.